people shouldn't really attack or help them because I was the one that did this. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Nikki. This is my channel, not another tea channel. First off, I want to apologize because this background today is extremely glitchy. So I'm trying to change my background up. This is the very first stages, so I do apologize. Um, I It needs a lot of work still, so I do apologize for that. But I wanted to get in and talk about today what is going on with Mr. and Mrs. Roadhog. Uh, I'm interested to see what you guys have to say, just because it seems like everyone is kind of split down the middle when it comes to this. So let's talk about it. If you don't know what is going on, uh, I guess Mr. Roadhog had put this out a while back, this stream, and I'm going, and I'm not going to play the video, okay, because one, I'm not going to put this little boy on my platform. I don't feel like he should have been on anybody's platform, including his parents. Uh, Two, it's absolutely heartbreaking to hear this little boy's voice. Like, it made me tear up listening to it. Uh, but I am going to read what Mr. Roadhog had said. So, again, this stream seemed to be from a while back. From my understanding, Mr. Roadhog has apologized for, for saying this. So, let me read what he said. So he is talking about, again, my understanding, it's his stepson. His stepson had had a concussion, and this is what he said on his platform about it. So his brain ain't ever been right. He acts like a jackass. Walking backwards and fell down. At first I thought, you dumb mother That mother got split. I think he was just being a jackass. Walking backwards, I think he deserved the split. And that's why I can be as mean to him as I want, because I pay his bills. Let's decipher this a little bit. So one, his brain ain't ever been right. <laughs> you call him a dumb mother We're talking about a child. Who calls their child that? That's nasty. That's vile. So why this is being brought back up is because Mrs. Roadhog played that stream of her husband saying those things about this child for this child to hear on her platform. So she played it through and then she asked the child if she thought he was being mean. He said yes to her surprise. She was pretty shocked at that answer. Um, if you want kids to know a little bit more than what you think, we need to give kids a little bit more credit. They do know what's going on. However, she will say that he said he was being mean because he said a cuss word. Again, kids are smarter than what we sometimes give them credit for. So the first time I listened to it, I my, I mean, I was sad. I was sad for this little boy. That's sad. That's, that's a horrible thing to say. Like, what kind of loving parents? That parents are not. I, I'm, <laughs> I don't know. If my husband said that about my child, I would be livid. Like, that would be very concerning for me. But that's not all I want to talk about. Because I watched her apology. And I, and I kind of felt sorry for her. I do believe, I mean, all you can do in the end, it's out there, is apologize for it and to do better, to take this as a lesson learned and what you can do better. But there are a few things that bothered me about this apology, and I want to play a few clips.
but people shouldn't really attack Red Hawk though because I was the one that did this. He could have came back. So she is visibly distraught. She's very upset. She's beating herself up about it. She says over and over, I don't know how many times she says it, not to blame Roadhog that Mr. Roadhog had no clue. He didn't know. She took it upon herself to do this. It's her fault. Don't blame him. Um, Sent her all the hate. That was a little concerning. It, it made me feel some type of way. Uh, you know, I'm not going to make speculations about what's going on in this household. But I've heard these words before. I've seen that type of action before from women. We call everyone else for their nasty stuff, and I'm calling myself out on my nasty stuff. Because even though I feel like I didn't do too much, um, because, you know, I suffer from the same thing he does. Uh, we don't take it like everyone else. So that's a bit concerning. I don't feel like she truly knows what was really wrong in this situation. We need to raise our children into people who do not have to recover from their childhoods. Let me know what you guys think because she makes a comment on here about how Mr. Roadhog should do a video calling her out because they call, they're a call out channel. They blast other people. So they should, it's only warranted that they should blast each other. Let me know what you guys think about that. Would you expect that? Do you think that that is something that should happen? Now, this is my opinion. We're not going to, you know, we don't have to agree, but I, I don't expect that. I wouldn't, I would never ex expect someone to make a call out video in regards to their husband or their, or their wife. To me, I just feel like, you know, again, this may not be right, but I feel like, like say my husband should have my back. I don't care if I'm right or if I'm wrong, you should have my back. And the same with him, I would have his back no matter what, even if he was in the wrong, I may tell him he's in the wrong, but I still would be backing him up no matter what. And that's my opinion on it. So my opinion is, I feel like everybody can be forgiven. Everybody can learn from their mistakes and move on and become better. However, what really bothers me about Roadhog himself is everyone has these platforms to express ourselves. And I feel like he doesn't have no problems expressing himself. But when others try to do the same, they're, they're crucified. It's almost like he cannot handle any type of criticism whatsoever. If you, th if you think about it, everything that happened between him and T-Spiracy had to do with because he didn't like her opinion and her video she put out, the content she put out, not agreeing with him. That's what all this started from. And I'm not going to comment and give my opinion on what's been going on the back and forth between him and T-Spiracy. Because honestly, I don't really watch T-Spiracy like that. From my understanding, she's throwing pretty low blows too. And I'm just not going to talk about something that I'm not really aware of. However, I find in this community, everyone says they don't want to go real life. But it seems like when that happens to someone, somebody does say somebody does get doxxed in this community and they were all for not going real life. Then, however, now that they're doxxed and their information's out there, it's like, well, I got doxxed, so now I'm going to do it to you. Somebody went real life on me, so now it's okay to go real life on someone else. It's like everyone has to one-up each other in this community. And the problem is... It never ends until somebody gets completely deplatformed because it just keeps getting worse and worse and dirty and more nasty and more vile. And people start doing things that they said that they would never do. People start turning into to people that they literally talk about. They become the people that they hate the most. 
just like, you know, and the children being brought up. Yes, they brought their children on the platform, which was wrong. And I have a feeling they probably won't do it again. I mean, there's no book on how to maneuver around YouTube. We all have to learn and figure it out ourselves. I, when I came on this platform, I feel like I was so naive. I felt like people had good hearts, even though they may not have expressed themselves the best way. However, I feel like their intentions were still good. Even though they were may have done bad, I feel like they didn't mean to. Like their intentions deep down, deep down inside were still good. I've a year on this platform, I'm learning that's not true. There are just some very bad, evil, nasty, vile, awful people on this platform. And I am not saying Roadhog is one of them, but I feel like people can give their opinions on how they feel about a subject. That doesn't mean you hate somebody or you don't like everything about them. You just don't like this one action that they did. And that's where I have a problem. There's so many people that say that they can take criticism and, you know, there's somebody on here that I've talked highly about many times. I said one thing about this person that I did not like. It, it, it uh, put him in a bad light. One time, all those times that I, I brought them up and all the good things I said didn't matter because that one bad thing, that, that one action that I did not like just destroyed it all. So... A lot of people say that they can handle that and they cannot. And that lies my problem with Mr. Roadhog. You cannot get on your platform and go after people day after day and not expect it to come back tenfold. And when it does, you want to use your subscribers as some kind of weapons and have people mass reporting other channels and other creators and trying to get them off the platform. And I understand, and from here on out, I don't think anybody should be making videos bringing his children up. But I will say, I think if uh, the shoe was exchanged between him and t Spiracy, he would have had a field day with it. I do. However, I don't think it's right to, be, to bring children up, family up, or real life in, in that matter. Because sadly, people on here, they have no boundaries. There's no morals, there's no values, and there's nothing they won't do to hurt you as bad as they were hurt. So I want to go over some of these clips. And I don't know if he thought because he was going to come on this platform being this big mouth bully, threatening everybody, that nobody was going to dare cross him and make a video about him. But, sir, that is not how it works. And I did hear you said that um, you have had criticism that, um, and, and I'm, I think it might maybe in one of these clips, that you um, it was, you was okay with. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard very many. I, I The only one I can possibly think of, and, and I may be wrong, comment below if I am. Let me know a, a channel that has criticized him that he, he didn't mind, that he didn't care whatsoever. Um, the only one I know of is EKC, Aaron, and that's just because she didn't say really not one bad thing about you. Uh, Recaps with Bobby said many things. I mean, was a completely unbiased cat from the very beginning when, when using you and Ren and, and anybody else you had a problem with in cat's content. And as soon as Bobby says one thing, then it's the... The switch is completely flipped the other way. Let's get in some of these clips. So now you're using something that was said and re-victimizing that person too. Dude, or miss, you really um can't do that. I learned a lesson. You're, you're not, no, 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 no. That's that's bad. Because see, what you're using is what I did wrong to somebody where I victimized them. You're now re-victimizing by replaying that again. Way to go, bro. Way to go. Not very smart, my friend. That that's That's not good. This is bad. This is real bad. Wow. You, wow. And this is retaliation right here. See you soon, bitch. I should have used that as my intro. Oh, I know everybody's trying to get back, back to what I'm doing. So I'm getting back to my videos. But I'm also going to do my lives where I call out people shit. And that is something I promised you guys that I was not going to stop. 
this isn't personal tea. I just want to share with you dirty laundry. Since you won't show it over here on YouTube, I decided I would. Okay. And every right, you have every right to do your content as, you know, you see is fit. However, others do too. And he goes and he reads the comments. Everybody who commented underneath that video, who the person, I think their channel name was Omega, who clipped and is the one who put the stream out where he was talking just horribly about the child. Roadhog goes underneath the comments and everybody who had an opinion, he's calling them out under there. From the whole, that whole video that he did just seemed really like a big old man baby crying. I guess you're about to find out what happens when, oh, wait a minute. See, that's called false allegations. And that's trying to make me out something I'm not. And your title says that I wrote all areas of drug use threats. So basically, you're trying to slander me. You know what happened to Kareem Williams, right? Well, this is why you can't do these things. You cannot make videos like this because it's a no-no. It has no substance. It is just a shitload of clips put together with no real direction. It's a shit show. And people thought this was good. Really. So here after my live stream tonight, I will be taking care of that the way that I'm taking care of it. And this person put some really cool music in there. Good for them. Mm. Okay. All right. So for all nine people that commented on that, fuck every one of you. And I'm an apex predator, huh? Well, I see somebody's kind of going out the door in a minute. I hope this gets better. Oh, it does. It gets better. Because he's about to do, he or she is about to do something very, very stupid. Please, let's continue. Okay, so he he's saying that the video was slander. What did, what did he say it was called? Um, to me, it's not slander, though, because that behavior is abuse. That's abusive behavior. Um, so that wasn't really, it's not a lie. The, the drug use, you've admitted that. And what was the other thing they said? I'm not even sure, but everything that it was in the title wasn't slander because it wasn't not true. If you don't know who this is, this is the asshole who got removed from YouTube for using my content in a wrong way. Best of love them. So that was just another person that got removed per Roadhog. And I want to say, like, you can react. If somebody has something to say about you, you have every right to use your platform to react to it. My opinion, I wouldn't be going, you know, vile and nasty and calling, you know, doing some of the things you've done in the past. But you have every right to express yourself, to take up for yourself, to set the record straight or whatever you feel like you need to do. But trying to get people removed off this platform, trying to get people mass reported and taken off this platform to shut them up is not right. I feel like people should use their support, you know, their voices, um, unsubscribe, don't watch. And that is how you get the point across that you do not stand by or accept this behavior. And that's how you do it. You don't give support. You don't have to go on some campaign to get people completely removed. Talk about what you think is nasty, what you don't agree with, and see if other people feel the same way. Then you band together and you don't watch. You don't give them the views. And that is how you do commentary and content here in this part of the community. I got to get my butt to work, but I meant to wear this shirt while making this video. Oh, hi. There I am. Just sitting here watching the, the clouds go by. So I'll handle that video the way I need to. No big deal. I'm not worried about it. Maybe you're going to call me out, at least call me out, right? Some people do. They, they do a hell of a job calling me out. Good for them. And then, yeah, somebody took my members-only video and have been posting it all over Twitter and all that. 
I'll handle that in the way that needs to be handled too. Some people are coming like, well, you know, Jeremy, they've got the right to talk about what they want to talk about on media. Yeah, they do, but it doesn't have to be stupidly harassing. You know, but I, I think some people just don't get that, that, that fucking. How is that harassing though? I mean, like that one guy, he made one video. That's not harassing. Now, day after day, video after video after video after video, and day after day, and month and month, and week and week, that becomes harassing. You have a contact. You have three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know a joke about Bobby. Roadhog, is this you? Sorry, the toddler came in there. Okay. I'll make it a very competitive match. Winner of the scavenger hunt who finds out who Bobby is, $50 Amazon card. Look at that. I'm, I'm putting a legitimate prize up. Let's find out who get it. A bit of advice, mate. Perhaps learn to cope with your feelings. Wow. I mean, he sits there and says that he doesn't go real life. Maybe he doesn't go real life himself. Maybe he isn't the one behind the keyboards typing it in. However, he asks his subscribers to get him that information. That's just as bad, sir. Just as bad.